Hi guys, my name is Ricky Regalario and uh, what we're going to create today is one of our pre-finals um, activity um, in networking tool. Okay, so we're going to use a packet tracer. How did I get the Cisco packet tracer? Um, I just um, sign up in NetaCAD and then just downloaded the Cisco packet tracer. Okay, let's open it. Uh, I've already tried this um, or using the Cisco Packet Tracer when um, we were asked to like um, complete one of the courses in NetAcad. Okay, so I already have an idea on how to use this. If you're um, new to this, just uh, follow along. I hope that I'm not going to give you a hard time. Okay, so I have an instructions in front of me of what we're going to do. So we're going to perform an initial switch configuration, which is an activity one. Okay, so basic things that you have to remember would be this. Okay, and this one, this part. Okay, network devices and devices, uh, routers and switches. These are the things that we're going to use today. And this this one is if you want to delete um, devices and if you want to select devices. Okay, so we're going to start with the clean slate. Okay, so for the topology, the first one that we're going to use would be PC. So we'll go to the end devices and PC. Okay, and then the next one would be the server. So it's here as well and end devices server. Okay, the next one would be customer switch. So let's go here and then let's go to switch so for the switches we're going to use 2960 so it's here okay and then customer router so let's go back here so it's gonna be 1841 it's here okay so let's rename it it's gonna be customer PC we'll just follow the instructions guys then this is local server this is customer switch and then I ah no this is customer router customer router okay and then same thing here on the right side so 1841 Okay, and then switch to 960. Okay, and then end devices PC here. So it's the same thing, and then server here. Okay, so let's rename it ISP router. And ISP switch. ISP workstation and ISP server. Okay, so it's complete. So this is the left side and the right side. So we'll go ahead and use connection. Oh, by the way, this one I forgot to mention. Connection. So this is where we're going to get the the connector. So this one is the straight through. So let's use it here so for fast ethernet and one and then another one fast ethernet and two from here to zero okay. so same thing on the other side fast ethernet to one So we now have a connector and in the router we need to to, to put a WIC IP1 let's choose this one so we need to turn it off first then let's place it 
there and then turn it back on okay it's good then turn it off place that here and then turn it on okay so it's now ready and let's use this okay so everything's connected so we'll go ahead and use this console cable from customer PC let's use this RS going to 2960 and then console okay connected now let's go to customer PC desktop let's follow the instructions from here because it has to be correct then let's go to terminal click ok okay so here enter okay so let's begin so first let's enable enter okay then configure terminal configure terminal okay all right and then host name customer switch okay host name customer switch enter okay config mode so configure the privilege mode password and secret okay enable password cisco enable password cisco enter okay and then so where are we next enable secret cisco one two three from global con configuration mode configure the secret as cisco one two three okay enable Uh, enable secret Cisco one two three. Enable secret Cisco one two three. Enter. Okay, and then configure the console password. Okay, so line console zero. Line console zero. Enter. Okay. Then password Cisco. Okay. Then log in. Okay. Exit. Okay. From global config to config. Okay. And then configure the VTY password. Okay. So line VTY. What's it? Zero fifteen. Zero fifteen. Enter. Okay. And then password Cisco. Okay. All right. Log in. Okay. Exit. Okay. So back to config. So configure an IP address and interface VLAN one. Okay, interface VLAN one. Interface VLAN one. Okay. Oh, there's a space. Okay, and then IP address. So IP address. dot one six eight dot one dot five space mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay enter and then no shutdown 
Okay, let's continue recording. Where are we? I'll go ahead and charge my laptop first. Thank you so much. Okay. To avoid having problem, connection problem. Okay. So, no shutdown. Okay. Enter. Okay. And then exit. We're back to config. Okay, configure the default gateway. So IP default gateway. IP default gateway one nine two dot one six eight. Let's check results button at the bottom of the verify configuration. Okay, the, the customer switch should now be able to ping the ISP server 209.165.201.10, the first one. Or two things may fail while ARP converges. Okay, customer switch config end. Okay, and then ping. Let's try to ping 209.165.201.10 Let's see Ooh. Okay Alright, so we're finished. So that's it for today, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, for some of our activities, uh, I'm going to post it here as well. And then um, I'm unable to create a video for initial router configuration because I've already consumed too much time. So again, thank you so much.